Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use Qt Creator on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Qt Creator. And the first link which will appear here will be from qt.io. So I'm going to click on this link. And once this uh, link opens, you can directly see this Qt Creator, right? If you don't see Qt Creator, you can uh, go to the products here and then you can select uh, the Qt development tools and there you will be able to see Qt creator, right? So here you can see the option to download Qt. So I'm going to click on uh, download Qt and then you will be able to see uh, Qt software free trials Qt is not free for commercial use, right? If you want to use it for the personal use or for the learning purpose, then it's open source. Otherwise, uh, you have to pay for downloading Qt. So we just want to learn how to use Qt. So we are going to uh, download the open source version of Qt. So when you scroll down a little, you can see for open source users, Go to open source and then you can also see uh, the Qt product map, right? So you can click on go to open source option at the bottom and you can see Qt for open source development and you can read this message, what you can do. And when you scroll down, you will be able to uh, see the download button for Qt at the very bottom. So I'm going to click on this uh, download the Qt online installer option. And then I can see download the Qt for open source use. Select Windows here and then click on Qt online installer for Windows, which is going to download this exe file for Qt. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this file and let me minimize my browser. And you will be able to see uh, this kind of uh, setup window, right? So here, in order to uh, download any tool for Qt, you need to have the Qt account. So if you don't have the Qt account, just create one. It's simple. Uh, you can click on sign up here and then give your email ID and password and accept terms and conditions and you will be able to create your account. Once you have the account, just log in with your account. And once you are logged in with your account, you can see uh, this kind of uh, window, which says uh, Qt open source uh, usage obligations. I can just select uh, these uh, options. I'm not uh, the company, so you can see, I can select this option and click on next. And it says, welcome to Qt. I'm going to click on next here which is going to fetch all the information. On the next window, I can see contribute to Qt development. I can click on disable sending any information and then click on next. And then uh, I can select where do I want to uh, install Qt related tools, right? So by default, it will be uh, saved inside my C directory and there will be this Qt folder, which is okay for me. And you can see uh, this custom installation, which is user selectable packages, host platform and developer license restriction apply. Here I can see Qt design studio and then Qt desktop development, Qt Android or automotive. So I want to download Qt for the desktop development. So I can select this option, Qt 6.5 desktop development. Also I can use this option which says Qt Design Studio and then click on next. And then you have the license terms and conditions. I can click on uh, this checkbox and then click on next. And then uh, I can see this Qt option. Here I just need to click on next and then uh, I'm ready to install. So click on install button, which is going to give you this kind of uh, warning which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I can click yes, which is going to start the download of uh, the Qt 
related tools on your Windows operating system. So now I can see uh, that Qt uh, setup has been uh, finished and you can see uh, it says launch Qt creator. It also says open Qt design studio readme file. So I can uh, check these checkboxes. I can even check the launch Qt design studio. So it's going to launch uh, all these three things. So I'm going to click on finish and let's see what it does. So I'm going to click on notepad to open the readme file for open source. And if you want, you can read this uh, file. I'm going to close this and wait for the Qt Creator launch. And now I can see that Qt Creator has been started on my Windows operating system. And also I have this Qt Design Studio. So let's create a very simple Qt uh, project with Qt Creator. So I'm going to click on this uh, create a new project. I can even click on uh, this file and then click on new project option here. Here I can create uh, some Qt applications, for example, Qt widgets application, console or quick applications. I can also uh, use uh, Qt for creating Python applications. I have this library uh, option and in other options I have this Qt custom design widget, UI prototype, auto and other options. And then I have this uh, non Qt and other projects. So what I want to create is I want to create the Qt widget application. So I'm going to select application here and then click on uh, Qt widget application and then click on choose. And then I'm going to give the name to my application. So I'm going to name my application as uh, hello world for example and then this uh, project is going to be created in my documents folder i can change this uh, uh, source location of my project by clicking on browse but i'm okay with this i'm going to click on next here and then i can define the build system by default it's cmake i'm going to uh, use qmake for this and then click on next and then uh, i have all these uh, classes which will be created by default so the class name will be main window, header name will be main window.h and the cpp file name will be main window.cpp. So I'm okay with this, so click on next. And then the language here, I'm going to choose uh, English language. So it's just a way to tell Qt that I, we are going to cr create this uh, uh, application in English, for example, right? So let me choose uh, one of the English op options. So I'm going to choose uh, English UK, for example, right? Then click on next and then uh, just uh, leave it as default. So when we have downloaded Qt, it comes with MinGW, right? So it has also downloaded this uh, MinGW uh, compiler for Qt. I'm going to click on next. And then on the next window, I have the option to choose the version control. I'm not going to select any version control for now. I'm going to click on finish and then click on OK, which is going to create my Qt application, right? So here I have a few files. First one is hello world.pro file. This is my project file where I can define my project uh, related stuff. For example, I can define the source files, header files, and UI files here and other project related stuff. I have the header where all the headers are defined. And then I have this uh, source folder where all the source related files are defined. I also have this forms folder where I can design my Qt application. So I can drag and drop some uh, buttons or some other components from here and use them in my code, right? So for example, I can choose this push button and then I have the option to change the name of this push button. And then uh, also I have uh, the option to uh, change many other properties. For example, I can change the text here, click uh, me and then press enter and it changes the text of the click me button. Also, let me add a label here so I can search for uh, label here and then uh, just add it to my project. So let me drag and drop this label. 
and then I can uh, also change the name of this label right so for example right now the text is text label I can just make it blank and the name of this label is label I can leave it as default for now so this label name I can use later to set some text when the button is clicked right now in order to add some listener to this button I can right click on this button and then click on go to slot and then I can select clicked option here and then click on OK so when this button is clicked what I want to do is I want to show some text on the label which I have created right so here for example when the this push button is clicked I want to uh, set some text to the label so I can write UI and then I can call label uh, and then I can just set text to the label and then I can just press uh, hello world here right and then uh, I can give the semicolon save this code and then in order to build this code I can just click on this uh, run button which is also going to build and run this code right so I can click on this run button and then uh, I can uh, click on always save file before building and then click on save all which is going to build my application and once this uh, application is built it's going to run my application you can see the process of building uh, here and now I can see my uh, application is running so I can click on this push button which is going to uh, just print hello world on the label right so this is how you can download and install and use QT creator on your Windows operating system. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.